Hello everyone, Happy New Year. I hope you have enjoyed the holidays. For most of us, 2021 mustn't have been the best of years. And for me, we we'll started 2022 reading the latest chapter of Ren a Girlfriend. I can already tell that this year isn't going to be any different. But well, that's not what I'm here to talk about. So let's get to the main topic of this video. Since I'm not in the best of shapes, I'm not going to show my face, so you can watch me play Legends of Room Terror instead. A little reminder that this is a totally subjective list. After ending on a high note in Season 4, my Hero Academia came rolling down with its worst season, which even if it's not back per se, it was not definitely up to the standards we were used to. The joint training chapters could legit be considered as filler episodes. I didn't, I didn't mind it too much, but I can understand if people were bored out of their minds. I can even imagine how much patience manga fans had to muster to get through it. That she had to last 20 manga chapters minimum. That's 20 weeks minimum. So, um, let's not forget that I swear to God, if I don't see any of the new characters introduced in future hours. Well, Alexi got this and gave us some twice as character development. Um, oh yeah, and Shigareki went from being a little bitch to a bearable bitch. Hey, don't look at me like that. His first appearance left a really bad impression. So let's move on to the next one. Being one of the four nobodies that like how not to summon a demon lord and found the plot and the plot really entertaining. I was looking forward to the second season of it. At the end of it, the only thing I can tell you about is that I can hold a candle to its debut counterpart. The comedy, one of the key elements that allowed this series to escape mediocrity and be a good show, took a vacation. And what a don't grow that was. I must have laughed like two times in the entire season. Then there was the action, which also took a turn for the worse. I guess they spent most of the backjungle on season 1 because the animation was lacking and the fights were got were way underwhelming. Do I guess that there was nothing to about it because they were like that in the novel? I don't know. And finally, I guess they changed the script right there? Call me crazy, but I found the progression of the story a little bit off. Though hopefully that's just me being a five head wannabe. Um, moving on. As someone who watched the original Shaman King and had good memories of it, I was in the moment a reboot was announced. Especially because it would adapt the whole manga. However, I don't think it has lived up to its predecessor. And now that I think about it, I should have been an easy task. At the very least, in the action department. The fights in the original weren't exactly packed with Sakuga or choreography, but I didn't see much of an improvement in the remake. You could say that the actual real challenge was the soundtrack. And even though there were good tracks, the original one is in a, on a tier above. Now, I'm going to talk about something in particular. I really fucking hate Manta's voice in Japanese. I'm finding it hard to listen to. The guy is supposed to be 15, but he sounds like he has been smoking since he, since he was 6. 
Holy shit. Well, uh, I don't think it's too much of a big deal since I stopped watching uh, Chapter 21, so it might have gotten better. And I apologize if that, that's the case because it shouldn't be in this list. But, uh, well, maybe it's my fault since the Dragon Quest remake got me expecting the same treatment as this one. On to the next one. I have to say that as an avid manga reader, I have avoided the record of Ragnarok. And not because I thought it was so bad, or because I wouldn't like it. It was just a wing of mine, you know. When I read the synopsis, I was like, yeah, this is definitely getting an anime, so I better wait for it and go in blind. I mean, historical figures of Minecraft versus Techbox? What is there not to be hype about? But, you know, reality can be often disappointing. We got a slideshow. The facts were boring and uninspired fuck. Which is something changeless for me to say because I dropped it in the middle of Zeus versus Adam. <sighs> if that weren't enough, the most infuriating thing of all was getting reactions and commentary from every freaking character every 5 seconds. Every fucking time. I actually started to doubt whether the selling point of the manga were the fights or the backstory of the fighters. It really is beyond me how a studio could fuck this one up. Seriously. The last one of the list. And now, the biggest disappointment of anime 2021 in my humble opinion is... The anime adaptation of Goku Shufudo, Way of the House Husband. Holy fucking shit. And I'm really being generous by calling this an anime. Because this is just a color manga with voice acting. <sighs> At least they had the decency to animate the mouths of the characters. We are talking about a manga that, in terms of comedy, doesn't lose out to Grand Blue, Kaguya-sama, or Konosuba. It could have been an actual anime of the season for a lot of you, and definitely the comedy of the year. Nonetheless, this is it, boys. That's what we got. I have read somewhere that the author was okay with this. Or actually asks for the anime to be like that. Something along those lines. And I won't bother to confirm it, because if that's the case, all I have to say is that I respectfully disagree with that decision. And I won't say anything else because... Well... Uh, fuck it. And of course, the cherry on top to make things worse is that this anime suffers from Netflix jail. So the mod has been a lot of people who doesn't even know that it exists. Though maybe that's a blessing in disguise. Oh well. Thank you for listening to this pessimistic self. I like to do a, one about surprises, so let me know if you are interested. But I think that the list will be shorter for that one. Well, I'll say it again. Thank you. Well, the video ends here, but you can still go on if you want to know how the match ends. See ya.